Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. For today's video, I wanted to film my Shop My Stash because um, I'm sick of looking at these things <laughs> that have been here since my last Shop My Stash. And yeah, I had some time to film and there's sunlight for once, so let's just jump into it. So if you're new to these videos, I usually start by going over what was already in my shop, my stash. So that's what's in this um, container. This is just like overstock <laughs> from things that don't fit anywhere else. So just ignore that. But everything up here was part of my shop, my stash and some of the palettes that are in this palette organizer thing which I'll show you later. So let's just start up here, I guess. Um, this is my Park Avenue Princess Chisel palette from Tarte. Um, I honestly don't remember if I added this later or if it was in my original Shot My Stash video for this round, but um, yeah, I like this. I don't think I'll ever get use out of every single color because I'm only using it on myself and I don't really use matte uh, powders like that, but I really like these two shades. So like this one I focus more on like contouring areas and then this I use as a bronzer. If I had pulled this in the summer, I could probably use these two shades also, but because I'm like at my fairest right now. I mostly just use these two. Um, but yeah, I got this in a boxy charm, I believe. So anyway, this can be put away. Okay, things might look a little different because my battery died and then I changed it and then I started filming again, but I wasn't recording. <laughs> so we're doing this over. Um, this Becca Ocean Jewels Highlighter Palette. This is in my deck of panning, so it's staying because I haven't filmed the finale slash intro for this new year yet. Um, and I'm working on the shade Citrine. This I will put away, this Odin's Eye Verdandi Palette. I think I only use this, I don't remember if it was twice, but if anything, I did use it one time and I used these shades and I really liked it. So yeah, this can go back in my collection. Uh, this I did not use at all. I pulled it because when I was doing my Shop My Stash, it was before Halloween and I really wanted to use some Halloween themed things, but I didn't get a chance to use this. This is three um, Super Shock shadows that I have not used, but because, I mean, it's Hocus Pocus, so <laughs> I'm gonna put it away. Um, yeah, but I should have used it. I just did not wear makeup enough. Um, these eyelashes have been in here for two Shop My Stashes and I still have not used them. And I don't think I'm going to. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm going to put them back even though I didn't use them. I don't know what I'm going to do about my lashes. I only have like a handful, but I never wear them. So we'll see. I might roll like lashes again. So whatever. We'll put those away. Um, this Pat McGrath. Divine Rose Luxe Quad in Eternal Eden. I just put this in here because I rolled it in my, in a project. I don't remember which off the top of my head. Um, but this has not been used yet. I got this in a boxy charm and I was so excited because I don't own any Pat McGrath like Lux quads or her bigger ones either. I only have the holiday um, palettes so this will be fun to use. I haven't touched it yet so that's gonna stay for now. 
This is also in a project, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so that's gonna stay. I have used it a few times. And I think I've used every shade in this quad, which was, by the way, the Super Shock Highlighter Quad the, from, well, it's the Might As Shell from that like beachy theme collection ColourPop did. Um, I like this. I just feel like these are um, glittery. So, you know, it's not for every day. So, yeah, I'm going to keep this though because it's in a project. Um, this I also have in a project, the uh, Pressed Powder Blush from the Sailor Moon Colourpop collab, the first one I believe. This one is the shade Cat's Eye and this is like a nice shimmery pink which looks like this. So that's staying. Same with this Pat McGrath Divine Blush Duo in Cosmic Coral because this is in a project also and I don't really know what I'm doing with my projects yet in the new year. Like the ones, the products that I haven't reached my goals on. Am I going to roll them over or just start from the beginning? I don't know so I'm just going to keep these in here for now, but I really like this blush. I usually just mix the two shades together and it's really pretty. This is also in a project. <laughs> this one I'm pretty sure is my deck of panning. And this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Dim Infusion, which looks pretty boring in the pan, but it's really pretty on the skin. So happy to keep using that. I think I'm pretty close to my goal on that one. Um, then I have this matte bronzer from Hannah Lay. This is also in a project. <laughs> I think I'm just, maybe you should stop saying that, but I need to explain why I'm not, you know, putting these things away, I guess. Um, yeah, so like I said, it's a matte bronzer. I actually really like this. It's nice and smooth and I like the shade. It's like a neutral, maybe like neutral warm and yeah. I've been enjoying this and this you might recognize if you've watched my other videos because it's been in my whole collection project pan I think for like the whole year of 2023 and it's still in here but I really like this as well. This is the Hard Candy Rose Gold, right? Yeah, Rose Gold Highlighter. This is a mini, um, yeah. I really like this too. This is also in that whole collection project, the Freck Cheek Slime in Fever Dream. This is something like I don't think I'll ever <laughs> pan because I literally need like a speck of this and it's like a vibrant red, like a coral red hot fire <laughs> shade. So yeah. I can't use too much of it at a time and I feel like it's a more summery product so I don't know we'll see but like I said it's in a project so it's staying then up here I have my lip products um, this one is not in a project I think the Sailor Moon um, ultra glossy lip in Moon Tiara from Colourpop. Um, I used to, well, I still like these, but it's when they used to do the gloss with the brush applicator. And at first I was kind of like, ooh, that's fun and new. But now it's like, it's not my favorite way to apply lip gloss because it's like kind of goopy. But anyway, I do like this lip gloss. Um, I think, yeah, I'm putting that away though. I have used it and I'm like 90% sure it's not in a project. <laughs> um, neither is this one. This item beauty lip quip, lip oil in come through. I actually really like this 
And unfortunately, this is not a brand anymore. Um, this was like Addison Rae's makeup brand. I don't even know who that is. I think she's from TikTok. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice lip product, but I'm gonna put it away because I've used it. Then I have this Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, I think this is the collagen lip bath. Like this one with the heart applicator. That smells really nice. This is in the shade Pillow Talk, of course. Um, I think I only use this once, but yeah, I'll put that away. Um, this I actually used quite a few times because it got rolled like randomly. Um, this is the Bite Demi Glacé um, liquefied lipstick. They don't, well, Bite is not selling product anymore like in stores they just have their like lip labs or whatever uh, but I really like this and this is like not um, a shade that I normally wear like this time of year like it's a very deep it's almost like a mauvey chocolatey brown um, and when I wear it I like dab it on the lips because I don't want it to be so dark um, but I do like this and it's still like smells fine and the formula is good so yeah but I'm gonna put that away I think I think it's not in a project really I should have looked at my spreadsheets before starting to film this video <laughs> then I would know more uh, this is, I know is not in a project this is the KVD studded kiss lipstick in lovecraft i was wearing this in my last two well actually no you'll only see one video before this one i believe but i was wearing this in that video and it was very drying on the lips but i did like the shade of it this also smells really nice it smells like vanilla cake kind of like a mac lipstick um, so I'm going to keep that. It's just a little mini, obviously. And I really like this one from Pat McGrath. At first I wasn't sure if I liked this shade on me, but since wearing it, um, yeah, I've noticed that I do like it. So it's the shade Omi, uh, O-M-I. I think this is one of her more, like, popular shades and this one is more like a pink yeah it's really pretty it's a nice neutral lipstick that goes with like pretty much everything so yeah that is not in a project so i'm gonna put that away i was just a little confused as to why none of those lip products were in a project but i think it's because i have more lip products in my everyday makeup drawer <laughs> which you will see so let's move on to this side. This I have not touched yet. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow, bring it closer, <laughs> Niacinamide Dew Drops, which I have decided I'm using as a makeup primer, but I'm trying to use up my VDL primer, which is also like a glowy primer, so I haven't touched this yet. So I'm gonna keep this in here. This is a eyeshadow palette from Viseart. It's the Petit Pro Volume 1, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it looks like this. It's kind of just like your basic neutral with a pop of purple. Um, I don't know if I've used this. I don't remember, but it's not in a project, so I'm going to put it away. Because I'm ready for like new stuff, you know? It's a new year, so I want to refresh things. Um, so I'm also going to put this away. <laughs> the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. This I've mentioned before. I always contemplate, contemplate uh, passing this on because as you can see, it's very boring. <laughs> These are all very similar looking shades, but I do like the formula of these. 
But yeah, let, I'll just put it away for now and we'll revisit it at some point, I'm sure. Uh, this Milk Makeup Mini, actually, this is now the full size of their sticks, I'm pretty sure. This is the highlighter in Lit. And I like this. I have actually used this quite a bit. I don't know if you can tell at all. Um, but I apply this with a brush, like I put my brush right in, onto the stick and then I apply it like that. And it's like a nice subtle sheen, I guess. This is not in a project, so I'm going to put that away. Um, this I have been loving and I honestly have to stop myself from reaching for it because I have other other things to use and this is not in a project. Um, this is the Blush Hour Soft Matte Liquid Blush from Profusion and I found this at Winners. I think you can get Profusion at Walmart in the States if I'm not mistaken but it's a really pretty like warm this kind of shade. It's almost like a burnt orange but not too orange you know so <laughs> I don't know it goes with a lot of things I have been wearing this so often and it's so easy to apply with the little sponge thing and I just really love it but I'm gonna put that back because I have other things to use um, for setting spray I had this Saint Lux setting spray that I got in a boxy charm I've been liking this it smells nice it doesn't seem to like melt my makeup off even though it is like a glowy kind of setting spray. Um, the only thing is this spray is very aggressive like it will drench you <laughs> so I have to hold it very far away from my face and not and try to not get it in my hair. Um, because I think like lately I've been noticing my hair is getting really greasy and I think it's from my setting sprays because I don't have like greasy, oily hair normally. So I think I've figured out it's partly due to my setting sprays getting in my hair. So yeah, anyway, tangent. But this is in a project, so that's going to stay. I think, yeah, both of these setting sprays are in my whole collection project. So this one is also staying the Peach and Lily Glass glass skin veil mist this is supposed to be like a hydrating mist i don't feel like it's very hydrating at all i just really like the mister it's like a nice fine like refreshing mist but i don't really find it does much um but yeah i got this in a boxy charm and it's quite full still um this i I don't know if this is in a project, um, but it's my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer and it looks like it's quite empty, but I think that's just because of the packaging, how like the, it's one of these, like look how disgusting this is. It's constantly like overflowing and every time I put this back in here, it just pushes up the product so yeah I hate this packaging I've mentioned before but I do like this as a spot concealer not as a under eye concealer I find it's too thick for that for my preference um, but yeah I've been using it some days I use this as my like foundation but in a very small amount because it's quite full coverage but um I might have to double check if this is in a project, <laughs> but I'll say I'm putting it away for now. Um, then I have two eyeliners. One is in a project and I haven't used it yet, the KVD Tattoo Pencil Liner. This is actually in the shade Pyrolucite Brown. So it's a brown, obviously, and I haven't used it. It looks like this. So actually, have I, now that I think of it, I might have used that on my waterline once, but anyway, it's staying. 
Um, this one I can put back, the Urban Decay. Is it getting very dark in here or is it me? Uh, <laughs> anyway, the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil and Torch. I feel like I keep rolling this in. Um, it's a really pretty... This is more like a true burnt orange shade. And I like to use this when I do like warm eyeshadow looks. I put this in the waterline. Um, but that can go back. Anyway, that's a very fall themed shade in my opinion. And then I have four lip liners. <laughs> and it's because two are in a project. Oh, and one's broken. I have to remember that. This one from Bite, um, this is shade 032. This one is the one I've been using the most because it goes with like pretty much everything. It's um, like, you know, just a mauve, pinky mauve kind of shade. And I really like these, but again, Bite doesn't exist anymore. And there's no bite lip lab like anywhere near me. So I'm just putting that there because the this thing comes off. And that's what lets me know what the color of the pencil is. But also like it looks like once this thing falls off, the pencil inside is like exposed. And I'm worried that it's going to like dry it out. So I'm going to try and like glue that back down. Um, the other one in a project, I'm, yeah, it's this one, the Jante Blue Brown Sugar. I don't know if I used this. It looks like it's getting really dry, but as the name suggests, it's more like a brown, a deeper brown. So that'll stay. And then I'll put away these two, the NYX. Um, nude suede shoes. This is almost like too nude. I I used to really like it, but now like when I wear a lip liner, I want it to actually like define, and I don't wear lip products that are much more neuter than that. So I'm not really getting much use out of it. Um, maybe as like all over the lips, it would be better, but yeah. And then I have my Mac, etc. This one is more, it's kind of in the same like shade family, but it's deeper as you can see. So I do like this one better for nude lips as a liner, uh, but I'm gonna put that away. And that's everything for this container. It still looks pretty full because I haven't filmed my, you know, updates yet but we'll see how it goes so i'm gonna move you over to the eyeshadow palette so yeah this is not gonna look like this for much longer because i have to uh film the finale of my pandas eyeshadows project and i am really sick of these palettes being here this one however is in my whole collection project, the ColourPop Harry Potter um, palette, which I have not reached my goal on yet. And it looks like this. So yeah, still, well, I don't know, like I said, if I'm gonna roll over these products or not, but I'll just keep it here for now. This is in my Pen Those Eyeshadows project. It's an e.l.f. like 100 color palette, so that's staying for now. Uh, this is in my deck of panning. I haven't reached my goal. Again, the Queen palette from Eloise, which looks like that. These are like the same palettes you guys have seen. If you've been watching my videos, you've been seeing these all year. The Lunar Beauty Nude Prism palette which I am the closest to reaching my goal on um, for this shade Sam that's in my Pan Those Eyeshadows project. Not that I'm close to reaching Pan, but I'm, I'm close to reaching my use goal. 
But anyway, that's staying. This I'm actually putting away and I'm happy to say that I did get to use it and I used it on Christmas Eve, which I thought was funny that I pulled the Haunted Europe palette for Christmas Eve. But there's actually like these pretty greens and I did a look with those. And actually this shade here is called Mary Cemetery. So I thought that was fun to wear on Christmas, <laughs> it, I guess kind of morbid, but yeah. Um, I wish I got to use this more, but as you can see, I have so much other eyeshadow in this shot my stash area. But yeah, so I'm gonna put this away because this is not in a project. I had just pulled it for like the spooky vibes. Um, this one is in my pen, those eyeshadows, the Dominique Latte palette for the shade Espresso. I haven't reached my goal on that, but I do love that palette. This one I have not used yet, I'm pretty sure. This is um, the newest palette I rolled into that project, the Urban Decay Robin Eisenberg palette. So that's doing. This is in my, oh God. Oh, okay. I think it's, it's okay. I, I didn't break it. <laughs> that would have been really bad because I, this is one of my favorite palettes. I mention all the time. The Too Faced Shake Your Pom Poms palette. I did use this one on Christmas. So I think I'm at six of my 20 uses. <laughs> so that's staying for now. And so is this e.l.f. quad in Cream and Sugar. Just a nice basic look that you can do. This is the shade in my pen, those eyeshadows project, which is like just the boring cream shade. But I use all four shades in this palette whenever I pull for this, so it gets good use in that sense. So those are all the palettes here. And the last area which is kind of part of my shot my stash is my everyday makeup drawer. So I will take you over there. Okay, this is not the best angle, but it's better than me shaking the camera everywhere, I think. <laughs> so this is my everyday makeup drawer. And I guess we'll start from here. Can you even see that? Anyway, this is not really makeup. I just keep it in this drawer, the Young Living Rose Ointment and I put this um, like on my cuticles or like any super dry patches. But lately I've been using something for eczema and I have been trying not to put like things with fragrance. Not that there's like fragrance in this cause it's, you know, essential oil, but yeah. So I haven't been using this one as much lately, but I just keep it in here because I don't know, it fits there. <laughs> um, then I have my Tatcha, the pearl tinted like eye treatment thing. I've been trying to use this every time I do my makeup. Even days when I'm not wearing makeup, I try to use this. And it's looking like that, but I mean, it's still slow progress. So that's, that just always lives in here. Same with these two primers. The Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion, which I actually find is getting kind of dry. So yeah, not sure how much more of this I actually have. I think it it's like down to there. Well, that's kind of still a lot <laughs> considering I don't wear eyeshadow every day. But yeah, that's staying. And this NYX Glitter Primer, which I not honestly never use. Um, I've tried to force myself to use it and then last time I used it, I regretted using it because I just the way I do my eyeshadow, like it's like a back and forth between the mattes and the shimmers and the blending. So I just find like it's hard to blend over this. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know if you use this, like how do you use it? What 
stage do you put it on in? Let me know. Uh, this is a brand new mascara I just opened. Well, it's actually not new, like, in my collection. It just hasn't been opened until now. The Tarte Tartlet Tubing Mascara. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know if I like it, but it's in here. Uh, this Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes from Charlotte Tilbury. This is um, in the shade Dream Pop, so it's like a berry brown shade. And some days I like it for when like I'm going for a very minimal makeup look. But other days I feel like it pulls the red from my eyes and I don't like it so much. But anyway, it's getting old, it's getting drier, so it won't be in here much longer, but it'll at least be in here until I feel like I can't use it anymore <laughs> because it was expensive. So that's me. This I always keep in here, but I honestly haven't used it in like months. I was gonna say a year, but maybe not that much. But this is the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Base. It came with the L'Oreal, oh dear, Lash Paradise. Is that L'Oreal or Maybelline? I don't know. Either way, it came in a duo with a mascara that I have long since used up. And I was like, well, this is still good, so I'll keep it in case I ever want to use it. But I haven't been reaching for it. Because I don't really like voluminous eyelashes. I'm more like a lengthening mascara type person. So, I don't know. I guess I'll keep it for a bit longer because the formula is still fine. Like, it's very wet still. And I guess it smells like it always did. So, I'll just keep it in here for now, I guess. Um, same with this uh, mini Monsieur Big from Lancome, the waterproof one. I mainly keep this because it's waterproof and it's my only waterproof mascara. And I really actually like it. And it's still kicking. Like it's still wet. If you can see or hear that. <laughs> and it doesn't like flake on me from what I remember. So I'm going to keep it. By the way, I'm not one of those people that gets rid of mascara after three months. I don't believe in that. I feel like that's just made up by like marketers so that you buy mascara more. <laughs> anyway, just my opinion. Don't come for me. Um, this has been in here for years, <laughs> like literally. The e.l.f. makeup remover pen. Is this even still? Yeah, it's still wet. Actually, let's see if it works on this. This is the eyeliner that I couldn't remove with my makeup wipe. Well, my baby wipe. Yeah, look, see, it works. So, I keep this in here in case I ever do uh, like a liquid liner. Um, this would be like to clean it up because I'm sure I would not do it pro like I would not do it properly and. I would need to clean it with something, so I just keep this like at the ready, but I rarely reach for it. Um, this I used to use like almost every time I do my makeup, but lately I haven't been using it as much. The Tarte Fake Awake, it's just a nude liner. Um, but yeah, if you can even see that, yeah. So I like to use this if I feel like my eyes are not looking very bright or if they're tired. I feel like this like helps, you know, brighten things up. Um, I guess I'll keep this in here. I mean, it's not taking up much space, so that should be fine. Yeah, that, uh, that elf pen actually did take that off. So that's kind of cool. Um, okay, over here, I have my Tarte, uh, that's filthy, <laughs> my Tarte Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation, doesn't exist anymore, it's my oldest foundation, I've been trying to use it up this year, I have actually used it twice, I used it on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, 
And I think I'm gonna keep this. I know I had said in a previous video that I would probably declutter this at the end of the year, regardless if I met my goal, but I actually like this <laughs> foundation and there's nothing wrong with it. And there's still like half the jar left. So I just feel like that would be so wasteful to get rid of it. And I'm not gonna pass this on to somebody like, I put my wet sponge in here, so <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it's full of bacteria, but it looks and smells fine. So I'm just gonna keep using this as much as I can. I did realize I do have to use like a hydrating primer when I reach for this or else it does look a little dry on my dry skin. But yeah, other than that, I've been liking this. Um, I've also surprisingly been liking this Too Faced Peach Perfect powder. I know it doesn't exist anymore, but um, I had actually just opened this recently. And even though it's classified as like a matte powder, I don't feel like it makes me look dry or anything. I do only put powder in like a very small area, like next to my nostrils kind of. <laughs> so maybe that's why, but I have been liking this quite a bit. So that's in a project. So that's going to stay. Oh, and this I kept in here because I wanted to mention. So at one point I had rolled this in to my whole collection project, but I forgot to mention it in the video. So when I did my update, I forgot about it again. And then it's just been sitting in here, <laughs> not being used or talked about because I totally forgot it was in that project. And it's not even like in my spreadsheet anymore because I replaced it. So I think I'm just gonna put this away. But it was the Ciate Everyday Vacay. I do think I used it once or twice. But I honestly forgot I was supposed to be like reaching for this for like a use goal type thing. So I'm going to put that away because I don't need two powders when I barely use one, you know. And then I have my brow products here. So these two were rolled into my whole collection project, um, the Kosas Air Brow in medium brown. Whenever I try to link this, um, I can't find this shade. It says uh, soft brown or dark brown. So I guess this is the soft brown because it's medium. I don't know. But I got this and the pencil also in medium brown. Um, and then, so I was trying to use just these two because they're in the project, but I realized I need eyebrow gel in my brows because if not, like they don't stay up and they're not very like bushy, I guess. So I really need the gel to like give me the look that I like. So since I had pulled these in, I was like, why well, I might as well, I might as well just use the Kosas clear brow gel that goes with it. Cause I had gotten all three of these in a kit. So yeah, I'm just using these again. Um, I do like the pencil and I really like this gel. Um, the air brow, I don't think I would repurchase like if I ever use this one up. Just because I feel like the formula is very wet for this color and for this type of brow product, like it just applies so much color at once into my brows and I don't really like that look. So I have to like, you know, be conscious to, be conscious <laughs> to um, not apply this so heavily. I don't know, anyway, I don't know. Um, but the pencil, I do like this pencil, especially because it has a spoolie. So whenever I do apply this too heavily, I just go back over it with the spoolie. Anyway, long story, but those are my brow products. And I actually have two of these. So this one is looking kind of gross. I have a new one, but this is still like full. So I'm just gonna keep using this one. And then here I just have like some boring tools like this. Um, 
eyelash curler that I never use. Uh, Sephora makeup tape that I also never use. But um, this I actually use like almost every time I do my makeup because I hate washing my brushes apparently. It's a color switch that I got in a BoxyCharm. So that's actually quite useful. I have my little um, Odin's Eye mirror that I use. And then I'm still using this sponge even though I don't love it, but there's nothing wrong with it. Um, same with this little one um, for concealer. If I remember to wet it, I do use this one. I did like this sponge. I had the full size of this one too, but it got gross, so I had to get rid of it. This was from Hip Dot from BoxyCharm. This one I have no idea. I'm sure, well, it was from a BoxyCharm, but I, there was no like packaging on it when I went to get it out of my sponge collection, so I have no idea, but I don't like it. And then my beauty blender thingy that I always forget that I have. <laughs> but I just keep these things here. So that's my new... No, that's my everyday... Oh, I forgot about this whole thing. Okay, quickly. The Sika Pear Dr. Jart Sika Pear Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. Um, this I use when, like... I feel like my skin is looking not as even and if I'm going out like in the morning and there because there's SPF in this um, then I would use this um, this does not I've realized this product does not mix well with other things so it's really something I can only use like if I'm only gonna put this on so yeah but there is kind of you know some good use on there. This is just a mini one because I just wanted to try it so I didn't get the full size. Oh, this might be different. So in my last shot, my stash, I rolled for a lip balm, which I will do again today um, as long as the sun <laughs> doesn't go down. Um, I had rolled my Truly Pineapple Haze lip balm butter type thing. It was like in a jar. Um, it has CBD in it or whatever. Um, that product, I don't know what happened because that was already in a project before and I used it, like I reached my goal on it and I liked it, but this past time it was breaking me out really badly, like all around my lips. So I gave it to my mom because she doesn't like, you know, have breakout prone skin. Um, I haven't asked her if she used it, but I gave it to her because it was still like full. So anyway, because I got rid of that one, I rolled for a new lip balm and I pulled this Jouer Lip Enhancer, Essential Lip Enhancer. This is a mini and I love this. Um, the only thing I found is if I get this in my mouth, like if I taste it, it's, it tastes bad. <laughs> like it tastes like you know, raw lip balm ingredients. Um, but other than that, I really like this. And it stays like for hours because it's so thick. So yeah, but I will actually roll for a new lip balm because that's a new thing that I do. Since my last shot my stash, I roll lip balms because I have way too many lip balms that are not getting touched. Um, this is another product that like lives in here, the Bite. Um, line and define lip primer and I tell myself that I'll use this whenever I use a liquid lipstick but I sometimes forget but I'm gonna try and use it there's only this much in there because it was a mini and I guess I did use kind of some of it I don't know so that's staying I'm actually planning like to film a plan to pan video where I, I'm i gonna choose like some really old products in my collection that I think have a chance of being used up. I think this will be in there. And then these are the lip products that I was talking about before that are in projects. So my Odin's Eye Ripe Papaya. I love this. This is 
the um, Elva Matte Lip Stain in Ripe Papaya. Um, I do really like the shade of this, but in these months, like in the winter, I don't want it to be so vampy looking. So I just like pat it on like a blotted lip look and it's really pretty. So I haven't reached my goal on this, I don't think, but I'm pretty close, but I will keep this in here for now. Same with this Wander Beauty lipstick. I think I wore this on Christmas Eve. Um, not this side. There's like a really bright pink side and then more neutral pink. Um, yeah, I wore this. And these look kind of gross because they have that like wax bloom or whatever. But they still smell fine, I think. I don't know. They smell like lipstick. So yeah, keeping that in. Anyway, it's in my deck of panning. And then this is in my whole collection project and I've been doing very poorly on using this because it's a red liquid lipstick. But I think I only have a five use goal on this and I used it once, <laughs> I think. Um, it's just a little mini, but I just want to use it more. And yeah, that's what that looks like. And then this is also in my whole collection project, the Pure Lease Ageless Glow Serum BB Cream. But lately, because I want to use up this, whenever I'm like, okay, I want to use like a complexion product today, I would rather use this one because I want to get my use on it, you know? But this one has SPF in it and it's gonna expire this year in April or July. I don't know, <laughs> one of the two. So yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it's staying. I don't know if I love this. I feel like it doesn't wear very well and I have dry skin so I can only imagine if you had oily skin, you would have to like really powder this down or something and then here is my primer that i'm trying to use up and i'm actually doing pretty good if you can see like all this is gone um this is the vdl lumi layer primer fresh and i don't know if this exists anymore because i used to be able to link this at ulta but now i can't find it so i'm not sure um, if you can get this anywhere, but I actually like this and it's expired. I mentioned before it has an expiry date, but there's no like active ingredients in it as far as I know. So I don't know why it would expire. It still smells and looks fine. So I'm just trying to use it up and this will be in that plan to pan video for sure. And then another product in my uh, deck of panning, I think. I actually um, used this in my last video. I was wearing this on my bottom, uh, what do you call it? Lower lash line, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, and I like this. I just, I don't reach for like these single eyeshadow products, you know? I don't know. Anyway, it's in that project and I haven't reached my goal, so it'll stay in here for now. So that is finally, that's the everyday makeup drawer. So now what I normally do is I go and like pull some products from my collection. And I do actually have a new thing to show you because I had to buy a new storage <laughs> container, actually two because I have so much stuff. So I will show that to you and we'll pull some new products and I'll probably do my Tiny Decisions app because I can never make decisions without it. And yeah, we'll just see how that goes. Okay, so here is the bottom part of um, that unit you see in the background of my videos. And I have, you know, a lot of these acrylic drawer things that are stacked, you know, in two 
Rose. Um, ow. I'm just, I'm on the floor, so I'm trying to <laughs> fix myself. Um, I do still have my tree up right here, my like office tree, so I can't really pull this stuff out on camera. Um, but yeah, if you're curious about those drawers, you can see them in my other videos. And then I just have like this, um, well, I use it as a palette, like stand, um, but it's empty right now because I have Christmas products here and I've been trying to like de-Christmas my house. <laughs> so I started with that. Um, yeah, so now there's space there and I honestly don't know what to do with it. I wanted to get rid of this, well not get rid of, but just move it from here so that I'd have more room, but I can't really do that because there's like a Mac lip vault thing back there and I don't, I don't know, I just don't know where else to put these things. So in there I just keep like bulky things that I don't know where else to put, like this you know, storybook cosmetics palette that is like an actual book. And then that Tarte holiday kit, which is ginormous. And then I have like lip vault things behind there. So I don't know. I was thinking I might pull like some Valentine's Day things and put those there just for decor. We'll see. And then here I have my MAC um, Teddy Velvet Teddy, right? Uh, lip Vault, which is just very cute. But over here, I'll just do this. This is my new storage <laughs> container. So this is actually two separate pieces and I got these at Michael's and normally I would not get those at Michael's because they're $29.99 each but they were doing a buy one get one free and I was like okay like you got me there because even the ones at Walmart which are the ones I normally get um those are like $16.99 I believe so it kind of like worked out so I got both of these for 30 bucks which is not great, but that's just how much these acrylic things cost. They're kind of pricey. But anyway, I had to get new storage because I literally could not fit anything anywhere. So in here I have like um, products that were in my new makeup drawer, but that were old. Like either I already did a video or a haul. So I just put them in here and I don't like have any specific video in mind for them. So in here I have uh, powder blushes, you can see, um, Too Faced, I have, so these you would have seen in my last haul video, some of them, the Charlotte Tilbury duo, I have another Pat McGrath Divine Blush duo. I have my House Labs blush and my two new Bare Minerals blushes, Kiss of Pink and Call My Blush. I'm not going to open those again because this video will be a thousand hours long. And then in here I have cream blushes. Um, some of them are just things that I couldn't fit in my other cream blush drawer, like this Rare Beauty one that I guess was getting like scratched every time I'd open the drawer, so that's sad because this is like really cute packaging. I have like some of these Say Beauty blushes and some Fenty ones. This is the Holiday one duo and this Mark uh, not Marc Jacobs, Makeup by Mario, cream blush. And then in here I have lip oils. So I got these two in a boxy charm. well actually these three in a boxy charm. And then these four I got for Christmas, 
from um, In Beauty. I mean, the brand is In Beauty, but I got them from my mom. <laughs> and down here I have ColourPop things, which I you will see in a video. Um, the Rudolph and the Sailor Moon, the second collab, and then I just have my Too Faced highlighter, which I don't. Did I ever mention this in a video that I got um, this from the Moon Crush collection? It's just so pretty. I haven't used it yet. I don't even want to. It's so beautiful. I love this packaging too. <laughs> anyway, that just didn't fit anywhere else. So that's what's in my new storage. So behind here is um, my old one. So yeah, that this side now has three stacks deep. So there's a lot of things. And then in here, maybe I'll just tilt the camera. This is my face palette drawer, which I, I can't really open because there's a Christmas tree plugged in. But um, I have a lip container. Oh my god, a lip thing, and then, okay, how can I show this to you? This kind of looks the same as always anyway, but under here is face palettes. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I, you know, fit all this makeup into a small space, but that's what's in there. So. I think what I need to do is decide what what do I need to pull now that I've cleaned out, you know, my shop, my stash section. So let's go back up here. Oh, and these are just obviously my makeup brushes and in here is all my setting sprays and my lip liner cup and then I also have makeup in here. I have all this. <laughs> this is mostly lip products that didn't fit in my acrylic containers and then just like overflow that didn't go anywhere else like this Costa Sport lip balm for some reason isn't there. And down here is eyeliner, liquid, and pencil. Oh, and before when I said like, this is not part of my shot, my stash. This is bronzer, powder bronzers, um, powder, well, <laughs> cream bronzer slash powder blush. So this is not even like organized anymore because I just ran out of space. Um, this is more bronzer, powder bronzer. This is mostly lip products, my Fenty gloss bombs. And some ColourPop stuff. More ColourPop blushes lip products and glam light and whatever else I could stuff in there and then down here is more more lip products um, my Harry Potter stuff yeah like I can barely even move this around because it's so full so yeah let's see what do I need okay so right now all I have left in my shot my stash is that highlighter palette from Becca. Um, a lot of blush, another highlighter palette, bronzer, another highlighter, a cream blush, a primer, and setting spray, and one lip liner and one eyeliner. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do so that I'm not moving the camera around like 50,000 times. I'm going to use my Tiny, De Tiny Decisions app to pull for some products and then we'll see 
how it's looking. I don't know. I don't know if you guys like when I do that, but I just feel like the way like my setup is, I can't really film, you know, with one hand and go through all of these things and have to move everything around. So yeah, that's just what we're gonna do, I guess. So I'm opening my app and I'm going to start with the first category here, which is lip balm. And let's see what I get. Bite Agave Lip Mask. Wow, okay, that's old. <laughs> so my lip balm container is all the way back here, like three rows back. <laughs> so I actually think I might be able to reach it so I can show it to you. Here it is. This is where I keep my lip balms. Um, so, Bite Agave Lip Mask. I think I only have this format. So, this, like, mini one, which is a million years old, and it's, like, the original formula. Let's see if it's still good to use. Oh, it's very thick. Oh, okay, but I think it was always like that like let's See, I mean it is a lip mask It's meant to be thicker. It still smells good. Okay. I'll try it. I Don't know why I'm showing you a swatch. It's a clear lip balm <laughs> But anyway, okay, that's my lip balm. There's still tons of product in there So yeah, we'll see Hopefully I can use this up maybe, I don't know. And I'm only pulling one lip balm. So the next category is powder. But I don't feel like I want, I don't want more than one powder at a time because I already don't use the one that I have often and I'd rather focus on one. So let's just skip that category. Let's move right on to palettes or eyeshadow singles. And so right now, I actually only have one palette slot because I'm putting away this um, Nomad Cosmetics palette. So we're only gonna roll for one. So I'll show you that here. Color Pop for Love and Justice. Oh, that is brand new. Like, okay, you guys haven't even seen that haul video yet, I think. But that's the new Sailor Pop, Sailor Pop. <laughs> that's the new Color Pop Sailor Moon collab. Okay, that's fun. Uh, where did I put that? Okay, I know, I put it in my um, Color Pop eyeshadow drawer. Let me show you that. Okay, so in here, um, I don't, did I call this my ColourPop drawer? That's not true. This is <laughs> uh, one of three um, eyeshadow palette drawers. It just happens to be the one that has ColourPop in it um, right here, actually. And I now have too many palettes that they don't fit nicely anymore, but these are my ColourPop palettes. If you want to see more about them, you can watch my eyeshadow palette collection video. But these two are new anyway, so they're Rudolph. But this is the new one. The ColourPop Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon for Love and Justice. So it looks like that. It's very cute. And then inside, I'm trying to do it with one hand, is this. Um, yeah, I think this is a pretty winter palette. It has like cool tones, some nice shimmers. Um, yeah, that should be fun. So that's my Shop My Stash palette. So next category is bronzer and I only have that one matte bronzer. So I could pull another one, let's see. 
what I get. Cover effects palette. Wow. Okay, I'm getting some like really interesting things already. So <laughs> things I haven't reached for in years. So let me get the cover effects palette. Um, that's going to be somewhere in here because it's a face palette. So let's open this. I hope it's easily accessible. I'm just going to move this tray. Cover effects palette. I'm actually getting kind of confused as to what that is all of a sudden. I think it's this. Um, is it this? Cover Effects Perfector Face Palette? So that's what it looks like. I did get this in a boxy charm, and for some reason they sent me the medium deep one. Um, but I kept it because I thought these would be pretty as blushes. But now I'm questioning myself. Did I really intend for this to be in my bronzer category? I'm thinking I might have another cover effects palette now that has bronzer in it. So let's <laughs> figure that out. I think it was that. I thought I might have like a cover effects you know, like a contour palette, but I don't think so. I think I meant for this, maybe that to be a bronzer. But now that I think about it, oh my God, I can't pull that off <laughs> as a bronzer, especially in the winter. That's more like an eyeshadow for me or like a brow powder. Maybe this finishing powder. That's going to be very warm though. Okay, you know what? I should pull this palette either way because there's highlighters and blushes in it. So let's do that. And also I haven't reached for this in literal years. So that's a face palette. Um, but now I'm thinking I should roll for a bronzer again and take that out of my bronzer category because that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Let's try this again. Pure Sculptor palette. That sounds more like something that will have a bronzer in it. And it's another palette. Okay. Pure, oh good, it's right here. <laughs> Oh, this, I think I remember. Oh, it's getting all yucky. Um, okay. <laughs> Another, um, very, very deep bronzer palette. This is the highlight and contour palette. I think it's just one shade. Like, this is just not even deep or anything, but, oh. Oh, actually, mm, these might swatch a little lighter than they look. Well, this one, can I pull that off? Oh my God, why do I even have this? <laughs> I probably liked the highlighter and that's why I kept it because I do like pure powder products. Mm. I might get away with this one. Let's try it. If I don't, I'll at least revisit the highlighters and then if I don't love those, I might just pass this on because this is like not my shade. So yeah, okay, we pulled two palettes. <laughs> two face palettes already. Okay, next, blush. Okay, I have so many blushes already in projects. I have one cream blush and the rest are powders. Mm, I could pull another cream blush and I, mm, I maybe actually don't even need to use my tiny decisions for that because I can do that right here 
and in the meantime show you show you my other cream blushes so i already showed you this one in the new section well the newer but back here this was my original cream blush drawer which is full to the brim so let's see can you guys even see Let's pull something from here that I haven't touched in a long time. Hmm. A lot of my cream blushes are like summery feel. What's this? Azalea from Rose Ink. No, I feel like that was just in a project. My battery's gonna die. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I moved you again. And the sun is going down very quickly, so I have to hurry this up. <laughs> So we're not going to do the rose ink. This Fenty cream, no, we're not doing that because it's bright orange. It's a uh, Fuego flush, so no. Elf putty blush. Mm. I'm pretty sure this shade is called Bora Bora. And it's kind of like summery as well. Ooh, I'm seeing this. This NARS. Um, what is this called? Orgasm Liquid Blush. I feel like I have never used this. Um, I think I'm gonna do this one. Cause Orgasm is, I feel like, an everyday kind of shade. So let's do that one. Plus I don't know anything about this formula. I don't remember anything about this. If I did use it, it has a pump. So let's do this because it's getting neglected. Okay, we're on my third battery now and the sun's going down. So I, th I think I'm going to continue this video tomorrow. But for you, it will be like a second. But let's just finish up. Um with pulling one more highlighter because as you saw I have quite a few highlighters already but let's just do one more because it's fun to pull new things Artist Couture Illuminati I think I decluttered that oh no okay I did declutter the mini Artist Couture highlighter that I had, but I also have a full size one, which is this right here, uh, Illuminati. And have I used this? Yeah, it looks like I've used this already, and it looks like a nice, you know, highlightery shade. Not that you can see in this horrendous lighting, but that will be. Um, yeah, another highlighter. <laughs> so I will be back when it's like a nicer time to film. And yeah, you will just see that in the next clip. So I'm back. It's the next day. In the last clip, I rolled for a highlighter. And I got um, this Artist Couture Illuminati. I don't know if you could see it very well. Um since the sun went down but it's um a loose highlighter like this i did swatch it and it looks really pretty actually um loose highlighters are not my favorite um you know format to apply but can you see look at that it's a little sparkly but i think i'm gonna like it a lot so yeah, um, and this one is a full size, so it will be easier to, you know, put my brush in there. The last one I decluttered um, was a mini, and I decluttered it because I couldn't like apply it well. And it was also, you know, too deep for me for a highlighter anyway. So yes, I will put this one here. We still have lots of room in my Shop My Stash container. I'm just opening my Tiny Decisions app again. And we are at Concealer. Yes, and I still haven't checked 
if this isn't a project, the makeup for everyone. So I'll just leave it here for now, but let's roll for another concealer because I don't like that concealer under my eyes anyway, like I mentioned. Oh, Tarte Hydro Sealer. That is like a deluxe sample that I have, so I'll get that. It's this little mini one. And I do think I liked this when I tried it. It is in the shade Fair Light Beige. So that should be okay for under eye. It kind of looks a little dark, but yeah. Anyway, I'll try it. So I'll put that um, here <laughs> so I remember it's there. And we'll move on to primer. So I am, like I mentioned, trying to finish up the VDL Lumi Layer Primer that's in my everyday makeup drawer. And actually I haven't touched this one yet either. So I think I won't be rolling for another primer. So we'll skip that one. But lips. Here is the fun part because we have six slots for lip products. So normally with lips, I actually choose them myself. Like I choose something that I want to use this time of year. But I think what I want to do is roll <laughs> for them. And maybe I'll, like after I fill the six, like I still have all this room, so I might choose more myself and I can show you what's in my lip drawers, I guess, even though they're chaos. So let's just roll for some lip products. Ciate Bittersweet. I think that's a liquid lipstick. How am I gonna do this? Cause my lip products are not, <laughs> well, not all of them are on this desk. So let's just take a screenshot so I remember it and we'll roll another one. And then we'll go in the drawers. Feel free to just skip <laughs> this part if you don't care about me rolling a wheel. But um, Makeup by Mario Bronze Glow. Ooh, I, that's a new one to me. I think I got that in like a Sephora Favorites. Or did I buy that? No, I might have bought that myself. Okay, so taking a screenshot. Fresh Sugar Dream. Okay, that's a tinted lip balm, which I believe is in my lip balm container. That's fine, because it is tinted, so that's three. So this one's number four. Aveda Canna. Oh dear, I think that's like a red lipstick. <laughs> uh, all right, we're doing that. And then five. Oh, Aveda Himalayan Snow Lip Glaze. That is like a clear lip gloss with sparkle, which is good because I can use that with, you know, other lip products and put it on top. And I actually really like that formula, even though it's literally ancient. Okay, so let's roll for one more. Nope, we already got that one. <laughs> Ofra Santa Ana. Another liquid lipstick. But I do like that one. I know that because it was rolled into my chopping block. And I tried it and I liked it. So, yeah. That's my six lip products. So, let me... I guess we'll try and find them on camera. I don't know. This video is going to be a thousand years long, but I will be back at a different angle. Okay, so we're back down here again. I think my Ciate li liquid lipsticks, whatever they're called, are behind here. So 
Let me see if I can <laughs> get in here. Let's move this. I think I see them right here. We're gonna have to just take this down. Uh, these are some bullet lipsticks. Actually, I think this is my Makeup by Mario. Yeah, my Bronze Glow, which I also rolled. So let's get that out while we're here. Oh, it's one of these, um, what were these called again? Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. Yes. So they're like those tart ones that you click up and it's basically like a lip gloss but in a tube kind of thing. But that looks really pretty. Um, I do think with these types of products you have to be careful to not roll up too much because then it gets like kind of goopy. Um, yeah, so that's what that looks like. And I do remember liking this formula. I think I have two of those. But anyway, let's move these two containers because I think back here am I even in frame? I don't know. This, okay, up here I have mini um, bullet lipsticks. I have powders in here. And then ColourPop um, lip creams. Is that what they're called? Yeah. Lip creams. These are like drugstore um, liquid lipsticks and lip creams kind of things. This is my Too Faced drawer. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. It's the Melted Matte and the original, like, melted. I only have one of those. But in here is liquid lipsticks. And Ciate Bittersweet. Yeah, it's... Oh, it's this one. I think this also survived my chopping block, so I'm pretty sure I like it. It's kind of like one of those cool tone grayish kind of shades, but this one, I guess, made it through. That's the shade. So that looks pretty. Um, these are liquid lipsticks. They do, well, they're called liquid velvets. I do think they dry down, but not as much as like a normal, you know, drying liquid lipstick does. So let's pull that one. And what else did I roll? I have to check my <laughs> screenshots now. Oh yeah, Fresh Sugar Dream. That should be back here. In my lip, lip balm container that I showed you before, which is dusty. Fresh Sugar Dream. Yes, I see it. It's this one. So I have like a lot of those fresh things in here, if you can tell. <laughs> um, okay, it's gonna be hard to get out. It's this, this is a mini size. And it looks like that. Still smells good. Yeah, it's very sheer. It's this here, but I think it'll be pretty with like a nude lip liner. So there's that. Then Aveda Canna. So my Aveda ones, um, well actually the lip gloss that I rolled, I can see it here on the floor. So it's this, um, this is also a mini size. That is the Rehydrating Lip Glaze. I don't even know if they still make these. It still smells good. And that's like a clear, but it has, there's a shadow. If you can see the sparkle is like iridescent. It's really pretty actually. This was like a little gift 
um, set back in the day that came with this um, other lip gloss, which is also really pretty. So, okay. Um, Aveda Canna. Yeah, as I was saying, my Aveda lipsticks, like my bullet lipsticks, are in that tray that you may have seen before that's in here. Oh, I had so much trouble closing this drawer yesterday after I got out those face palettes. But anyway, these are my Aveda lipsticks. Canna. Oh, yeah, this is the first one I chose, which is a red. And these lipsticks are my oldest lipsticks, but I regularly, like, they don't look that nice, right? <laughs> but, um, it's because the formula is so emollient, I feel like they melt, like, every summer, and then they re, um, solidify. But look how pretty that shade is. Uh, this is more like a summer red for me, but... I guess we'll try it. I need to use these more. Yeah, so these this formula is so nice. I don't <clears throat> I don't know if they still have these in the store. I haven't been to an Aveda in like a couple years actually. <laughs> I used to work there, if you didn't know. So anyway, that is five. So what am I missing? Um, oh, the Ofra liquid lipstick, which I think was where the Ciate was in here. So, um, I think it's this. Yeah, this one. So this, okay, the Ofra liquid lipsticks, I actually really liked them, but they seem to have reformulated when they changed the packaging because I had a newer one in the new packaging and I had to get rid of it because it was totally dried up. But this one is still kicking and it's really pretty. That's the shade. So it's kind of vampy for this time of year, but let's do it. Because the point of Shop My Stash is to use things that I might not reach for normally. Well, one of the points. <laughs> Anyway, that is my six lip products that I rolled. So we have all of these. So the next category in my Tiny Decisions app is setting spray. But I already have two that I'm working on that are in a project. So we're going to skip that one. And then we have eyeliner. I have only one eyeliner, so I will roll another one, even though I rarely use eyeliner, but let's see what we get. Persona. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I'm assuming it's a black that I got in a boxy charm. Let's just see what we have left while I'm here. Okay, foundation, lashes, lip liner, and brow. So we don't need anything else from down here. So again, I'll be back at a different angle <laughs> so we can continue. Okay, I think I showed you yesterday that my eyeliners are in this drawer here. So we'll have to find the Persona eyeliner. And I don't know what it looks like. That's not it. gotta be oh what if it's in my new makeup drawer though so it's not is it this no is it this no <laughs> okay let me just let me just make sure it's not in my new makeup drawer no there's no eyeliners in my new makeup drawer so we'll have to keep looking Oh, jeez. I wish I had any idea what it could look like. Is 
this it? Nope. That's makeup forever. Oh, here it is. Yes, it is a black. It is a black, what looks to be gel liner, yeah. It looks like that. I don't think I've ever used it. Ooh, it's nice and creamy. So, yeah, this will be a challenge to use because I rarely reach for black eyeliners. But the other one in my shop, my stash is a brown, so at least I have some variety. And then I said the next one was foundation, right? Okay, so here's my foundation slash concealer slash primer drawer, which is full to the brim. Like, I literally cannot put anything else in here. So let's think this through. I do have that Tarte foundation that I want to use and I have the BB cream from Pure Lease. but I think we can roll for another foundation. So let's do that. Oh, Tristique. That is actually a foundation stick that I've been meaning to use to see if I even like it. Um, I got this in a boxy charm. It looks like this. I've never used it. It looks kind of light. That's the shade. Oh dear. <laughs> I don't know. I'll try it. I might have to put a lot of bronzer or mix it with something else. But let's even just see if I like this. And there is like this sponge on the end, which I don't know if I'll use, but yeah. Well, let's try that. Okay, lashes. I guess I'm gonna roll for, for lashes, even though you guys know I never use them. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Oh no, Ardell Magnetic Lashes. I guess I'll try them again. Those are in the drawer below this one. This is my mini palette drawer, but I also keep lashes at the back. So let's see. Yeah, I think it's these, which I've used already, as you can tell. Uh, I don't remember how I use them because they're magnetic and I don't have... Do I have something to apply these? Oh no, these are the ones where, like, you clip them together. Let's try those again. I do have a very old video on my channel where I tried these and some other ones and it was like a total fail. <laughs> um, yeah, but let's, let's revisit them, I suppose. I don't know why I do this to myself, but anyway. Then we have lip liner. So I do have two lip liners already, but I like to have variety of lip liners because I have, you know, like almost 10 lip products going at a time, like in rotation. So let's, t let's choose two more. Oh, well that works because I did pull a red lipstick. So I have the Bobbi Brown red lip liner. And oh, that's brand new. So you guys didn't see yet, but I got the Rudolph collection from ColourPop and that's one of the lip liners in the lip kit. So I think actually what I'll do is just pull the entire lip kit because they go together. It's the shade Clarice, which is the nude, which is good. 
notes because the other one's red <laughs> and I already have red. And just the last thing while we're here is brows, but I don't need to roll for a brow product because I'm already working on three and I don't feel the need to like change up my brow routine from day to day. So we'll just keep doing the Kosas products that I showed you before. But let me get the lip liner. Okay, so here's the Bobbi Brown Red. This might be like my oldest lip liner in my collection. So let's see if it's still good. Oh yeah. There's the shade. It's just a basic like true red. And then this is the lip kit. Let me zoom out. Um, the ColourPop. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, I Think You're Cute lip kit, which is beautiful. And I'm keeping it in this packaging <laughs> until it falls apart. So there's a lipstick, a Luxe lipstick, and a lippy pencil. Look at this packaging. It's so cute. That's the lipstick, which is a really pretty nude. And then the lip liner is like the same shade but a little deeper, which is great because then I can actually, you know, get some definition to my lips. I don't really like when lip kits have the same exact shade of the lip liner and the lipstick because it's like, what's the point of that? But this one has a nice contrast. So those are my lip liners and the Luxe lipstick, which I might as well use since I'm using the lip liner in the collection. And that is everything. So we went through all the categories. I'm just thinking what do, what is missing now? So let's just go back over there because we don't need to see this anymore. We have two face palettes, which only have bronzer and high, well no, the cover effects one has blush in it. I have a highlighter palette. I have lots of blush and highlighters, more here. I have a matte bronzer that's in a project. So I'm not really missing anything. Even though there's like more room in this, I feel like that is a lot of things. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I might pull more lip products, but now that I think of it, like I have, all of these to use, which are like a nice variety, different formulas and shades. And then I still have three other lip products in my everyday makeup drawer. So I don't want to like overwhelm myself, but we'll see what's to come anyway, because I have to film finales and intros of my projects from last year. So this might look a little different next time you see it anyway. But yeah, I think that's a long enough video. <laughs> I hope you guys liked it, even though it's like kind of chaotic and just me moving the camera around a lot. But yeah, if you liked it, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!